According to a recent CNBC article, half of all families with kids can no longer afford food after the monthly child tax credit has ended. This is why we're here, guys. This is why I'm going to help you prep. This is how I'm going to help you feed your family. And we're going to talk about filler foods that you should stock in your depression air pantry. I want you to begin at least stocking a month of food because these supply chain issues are not going to get any better. In fact, I think they're going to get worse. Nobody wants to work. There's so many issues surrounding this. You guys can research those on your own. I don't need to repeat those again. But we're going to talk about something that my grandparents used to use all the time to feed us kids. They took in my sister and my brother and I when we were kids. They had already raised their kids, but they raised us as well. And the, how they did that, we ate a lot of potatoes. So I recommend that you stock up on your instant mashed potatoes because they store better than just buying those big 10 pound bags of potatoes because you guys know it, you leave them, next thing you know, they're in a corner of your house, something's stinking and you're like, what is that? And you open it up, you find that brown potato. It's got these little funky bugs growing in it and you're like, oh my gosh, it's so disgusting. I don't even know what to do with that. Or if they're not rotting, they're growing and going to seed. Okay, fine, you can plant those. That's great, that's a whole nother subject. Instant mashed potatoes. They're versatile, they're great. There's so many things that you guys can do with these instant mashed potatoes. You can use them as a side dish, taters and gravy, right? We do that all the time. <clears throat> use them for a topping for casserole. If you haven't made shepherd's pie, I highly encourage you to make it. It's an easy casserole. It takes me about 15, 20 minutes max. It's in the oven, it's baked. My kids eat it for a couple of days. They, I mix in a can of mixed vegetables. They get fed, they stay full and they come back for more of it. My one-year-old loves it, my three-year-old loves it, okay? Next thing we can do, we can make potato pancakes. You add an egg, maybe a little bit more milk, you fry them, my kids love them, put syrup on them. Again, it's filling, right? We're here, we're trying to feed our kids. We're not necessarily looking at everybody's diet. If you're on a low-carb diet, maybe this isn't for you. I'm talking about feeding kids, guys. Okay, next, you can bake them in a cake. Didn't know that, did you? All right, breads and rolls. They make it lots, they, um, increase the ability of it for retain its moisture. So then you get this really fluffy bread and this really nice roll, really good. And another thing that I didn't even think about that my mom mentioned was shake and bake. You could use it as a coating for like shake and bake, right? So you scramble up your little egg, you dunk your meat into it, then you roll it in those breadcrumbs, yum, pop it in your air fryer, it's a little, little healthier than frying it, frying it in oil. And then also meatloaf and meatball stretchers, yes. Guys, we can use instant mashed potatoes. So versatile, don't forget about them. Okay, now, how do we store these instant mashed potatoes now that we wanna put them in our pantry? Because we know that they're cheap, they're gonna fill my kids up, it's gonna make my food go longer, I'm not gonna to have to spend so much on, on all the meats and I can fill those foods in, right? Fill those gaps. What kid doesn't love a potato? All right, <laughs> this is my roll cane bucket. Yep, I have a five-gallon bucket of these bad boys. Taters. See that? Yes, it's beautiful. The game of lid again. It's easy. And you can see, we use this. And we use this whole thing in there. Look at that. I have my lovely little measuring spoon in there. And again, guys, one 2,000 cc oxygen absorber because it's going to keep it fresh. Okay, beautiful. Look, there's no bugs in this. No bugs because that gamma lid keeps it airtight. Look how pretty. So easy. Right now, you're wondering hey, put it in that bucket. What if I don't remember how to make them? Okay, all right. You just cut that little piece of cardboard out and you shove it in your bucket. Then you'll remember how to use it. You'll remember the directions. Or if you get crazy like me and you just kind of wing it, throw them all together, and you're like, meh, okay, this is not thick enough. I'm going to add a little more. A little more of those instant mashed potatoes. Or it's too thin. Okay. Or, you know, you want it thinner, I'm gonna add a little more milk to it. No big deal, right? Come on, moms, we cook all the time. Okay, all right, so other thing that's imperative to know is yes, there is what's called a potato bowl. That's gross, right? Okay, all right. So how do we prevent that? Guys, stick this box when you get it, pop it in your freezer for three days. Yeah, those bugs are gonna die off. You didn't know the USDA allows so many percentages of little bug particles to get in your food, did ya? Mm, yep, yep. Not everything's perfect. Not everything can be bug free like we want it to be, but there are ways that we can make sure that these, that our food is gonna last for us. And again, okay, I rotate through my items. I'm not stocking these for 10 years at a time. I'm stocking this to get me through one year, one five gallon bucket. 
gets me through one year. I replace this when it's empty, okay? It took me probably six or seven of those really, probably more like 10, let's just be real. Those big boxes that you can get at Walmart to fill this bad boy up, but I'm telling you, it's here. I know it's here. It's not gonna go bad because it's dehydrated. I've got it stored properly, and I know that I can stretch my kids' food if we start running low on meat. It's beautiful. Don't forget, it's a very important staple in your cabinet.